Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambitotronics. So today in this tutorial, I'll run a UART echo example. How we can run UART echo example? So a lot of people uh, get struggle to run this example code even uh, when you will directly import the code from, uh, you need to import this thing from Perry first. Uh, let me tell you from where you will get this code. You need to go to Espressif IDF project and here just type a name. Uh, and sample project template you need to go to the peripherals and in this peripherals here UART section is there this UART echo you need to select I have already selected this thing so I will not select so uh, this UART echo example uh, you need to do some changes to run this example code so uh, if I just upload build this uh, project and upload to my ESP32 so let's see how it works so uh, let's pause the uh, yeah it's built it uh, I, I think I have previously built this thing that's why it's built uh, so instantly otherwise it will take a time uh, to build this thing so now I'll just upload this code uh, let's uh, just select the com port com port is selected and uh, just clean this thing this is our dock light tool this is serial monitor so any serial monitor you can choose now I'll just upload this code so here I am uploading so now if I just open the dock light and uh, select the com port and border it is same okay now I'll run this thing so I'll just uh, see CPU start starting so it will run on app CPU if I'll just uh, give this command double A then I'll not get uh, echo back this double A uh, uh, using this as, as you I have dumped this code to this ESP32 I should get double A uh, uh, in return but I did not get uh, same with the hello world I did not get so what I will change that uh, we need to change the RX and TX of that particular pin so uh, if uh, you will go to ESP30 uh, uh, go to uh, your Google page and uh, if you will go to ESP32 uh, uh, pin out then you will see uh, that uh, here in this ESP32 pin out uh, these are the pins uh, for uh, means RX and TX these are the 1 and 3 are for where bootloader, is, bootloader resides so this is 1 and 3 so uh, as we are not connecting any TTL or ESP2 TTL converter so we need to use to configure this 1 and 3 and uh, if you are using TTL or something else uh, external uh, TT external serial device then we need to uh, use this uh, 16 and 17 so uh, 1 and 3 I'll use here so what I need to go do here uh, in this case UART echo test uh, txt so in case of for txt I'll just uh, give uh, uh, GPIO 1 so here I'll just give 1 and for this I'll give 3 now if I'll just build this thing first let, let it build and then if I upload the code then I should get the result uh, means uh, double A should respond with double A back so now if I'll just uh, close this talk light clear this clean this talk light tool and upload it to my board now I am uploading so I should get the result as as my expected values should come now here uh, first run this uh, thing and after hit the double A so uh, as you can see this double A I am receiving back same with the hello world I am receiving back the hello world same with hell double A 
now uh, we need to do some changes here uh, i think a data length uh, it's not finding null character that's why this it's not going uh, it's not going down there if length uh, equals to receiving string so uh, one changes we can do uh, i don't know why it's not going inside this length is greater than 5 let's say and uh, we'll just comment out this thing and instead of this we write through this string itself you are tried bytes itself we will say you are tried bytes equal right put now and here we will write my data length is greater than Five, and here we will give the length. So uh, I think forty we can give forty-five. Let's say uh, total length of string. And uh, now we'll just upload build this, and let's see what results we is uh, after giving. more than 5 characters what results we will get so now we will just upload to our board oh, our uh, doc like tool is still not closed so it's uh, uploaded now what will we do we will just open the serial monitor and uh, run this thing so uh, here uh, spi fly flash uh, flash detected size larger than the size this message we got now if i just push the double a and i am going back this thing you can say you can see now hello world is this is more than greater than 5 character i hit this thing then hello world is printing and as well as my data length is greater than 5 because uh, we are uh, just uh, we are just going here and uh, uh, it's going inside this uh, condition itself so this uh, let's say this give it 36 only not more than that upload it to the board because unnecessary thing also we are printing so now double a and for hello world hello world my data length is greater than 5 so this way we can uh, see we are getting echoing back and we can uh, also print we are also printing some other thing based on the length what we are uh, receiving through uh, give through uh, sending this hello world greater than 5 characters so in the next video tutorial i'll also connect ttl uh, in this case so that i'll tell you how ttl or any any other module which works uh, through uart uh, we can configure so if you will know uh, how ttl we can configure so you can also know how we can uh, work on other modules which which can communicate uh, through usb 32 based on uart so i hope you like this tutorial uh, so thank you guys thank you very much